Hey, what is up, step-by-step -step community? My name is El Tigro, and I'm so stoked because this is gonna be one of the most down-to-earth, valuable lessons on freestyle dancing that you can get off YouTube. I promise it's gonna be worth every minute because today we're uncovering the four fatal mistakes, most popular mistakes that freestyle dancers make. And I have a special guest helping us today is gonna be L Zero. Mistake number one, being tricked out. I cannot tell you how many freestyle dancers have practiced so hard on mastering that back flip, that windmill, those really cool glides, that head isolation, all that, and the truth is it's all for nothing. Because a real dancer doesn't dance by tricks, it dance by style. Here's how you can tell a dancer only knows their tricks, is because they show up, they bust that trick or whatever they've been working on, and they're done. Or, if you'll notice, they'll start to repeat their dance moves, which is a super no-no when it comes to freestyle dancing. A good rule of thumb is don't practice tricks, practice your style, because your style can run forever. Your tricks, you use them once, and they're done. Mistake number two, your brain on swag. I get it. You watch the Step Up movies, you wanna be cool, part of the gang, you wanna show off your friends with cool dance moves, but you're really missing out on the biggest point, which is understanding the foundation and history of the dance. Okay, so I'm not telling you that you have to be a historian and learn the roots, but I am telling you, instead of Googling all these fancy cool dance moves, just hop on Google and search maybe the basis or premise how the dance started or where it came from. Mistake number three, rushing. I mean, why is it that you show up, you're right on time, and then you hop into the cypher, you start dancing, and whoa, whoa, holy, wait, wait slow, slow, slow down, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, what's going on here? You just started dancing, you, you gotta go somewhere? Are you late? Then why are you rushing all your dance moves? I know we get so excited, the music's bumping, you feel the groove, but for some reason, if you just let it go, your body's gonna look like it, right? You're gonna be all over the place, you're gonna be sloppy, offbeat, and your moves aren't gonna look good, you're gonna look sporadic. A good rule of thumb is when you practice, practice slow. Build technique and practice slow before you start doing fast and quick and trying to beat me late, or else you just look sloppy, like this guy. Mistake number four, biting. I get it, you're inspired by nonstop. You love Les Twins, but the problem is the more time you spend watching them and working on that toe spin or whatever move that they're doing, then the more time you're pretty much saying, I don't wanna be an individual, I just wanna be a copy or look alike. People shouldn't be watching you dance and saying, oh sweet, nice nonstop toe spin. They should be looking at your dance and saying, dude, that's unique. I haven't seen that before. Where did you come up with that? One of the biggest expressions of hip hop is individuality and being yourself. So anytime you practice someone else's move, you're pretty much being a hypocrite of hip hop. Well, those are my top four popular mistakes that I see freestyle dancers make. Do you see mistakes that are happening all around you? If so, comment below and we can have that discussion. If you like this video, press like. If you want to learn more about popping and freestyling, you can actually hop on over to my channel. Every single Thursday, I put out a new brand spanking tutorial. I'm assuming you're already subscribed to Step by Step. If you're not, stop freeloading and press the subscribe button. I will tell you this, out of all the dance networks and channels, Step by Step, in my opinion, does it the best. The most authentic and the people that run Step by Step are the truest. They're artists themselves. So make sure you support and comment and subscribe and just give them a ton of love. Well, it's been tons of fun. Hope you liked the video. This is El Tigro. Peace. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hop on my channel for tutorial Thursdays or if you just want to watch cool dance videos. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to Step by Step. All right, you heard it. Peace.